Good morning from Margaret.com, my name is Ivana and we have switched rooms, this is our new room. Ta-ta! Staying one more night in Marrakesh. I skipped breakfast this morning because I was quite tired. So the first thing we're going to do is have a delicious lunch. And after that, I don't know, like I said, I'm a little bit tired. So let's just see. Yum, I ordered a crepe with cheese. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. 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 But it's actually like Gouda cheese, but also cream cheese. That's the white stuff. I'm okay with that. And the veggie tagine. Nom 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 nom. Nom. Look at this. Oh, delicious. I could seriously eat this for days. And I will. <laughs> I took a little nap. And now we're on our way to Jardin. Oh gosh, uh, Majorelle. Uh, the one uh, that was closed yesterday. I'm, I'm still very late. It is, I think. 4.15 or something and I saw a line that it closes at 5.30 so we're probably only going for half an hour but what else? What else? And we've seen it anyway so look around seriously this reminds me so much of Jodhpur like the small alleys and small shops and so many things happening at once I mean we're going to look at this cute old man playing a game <laughs> I went you if you follow my vlogs for a longer period of time, you know literally my biggest tourist attraction ever is sunshine and daily life. I can really just enjoy the hustle and the bustle in these kind of places. Victory, it is uh, 4.45, so we have 45 minutes. First impression of Jardim Majorel. Ooh, I like the sunshine. Uh, lots of cactuses. Apparently that's very fashionable. Mr. Yves Saint Laurent. Correction, massive cactuses are very fashionable. Uh, to give you an idea, this is my hand and that's the cactus. It's massive. And there's a blue house over there. Let's check it out. Oh, apparently that's the museum. The Yves Saint Laurent Museum. I love the shade of blue. I can't even love it, love it, love it so much. And there's a fountain over here. Beautiful. Now you can see how massive those cactuses are. Oh, yeah. So those are palm trees. Cactuses. This man and I really have the same favorite color palette in common. I love this hue of blue. Also fishies. Oh. Ooh, I think these are banana trees, right? Love banana trees. I know them from uh, Kerala in India. I love how clean this all looks. Of course, I know it's very well maintained, but like all the trees and the plants and the, the cactuses, they have like so much space in between them. And it's, I don't know, it's a more peaceful feel than everything stacked on each other. And here's the Yves Saint Laurent Memorial. Couturier Francais. Passed away in 2008 in Paris. Rest in peace. Moving into the bamboo jungle. On your way to this garden you will already encounter fashion people <laughs> and literally everybody here is doing photo shoots and everything. It's really fun to see. Yeah, but if you like fashion you will love this place. Because it's pretty. Whoa, massive fishies in this pond. I know the trees are reflecting, but they're massive. And there's like a little fountain over there. I love this color combo, man. Whoa, there's almost like a little river over here. That's quite cool. Well, I hope you got a little bit of an impression. The entry fee is 70 dirham. Oh, look, look behind me. The house so pretty. 70 dirham which is about 7 euros or something. I think it's kind of fun to see. It is quite a small garden though. I think there are bigger parks in um, in Marrakesh but 
Now you have an impression and you can make up your own mind. By the way, love Moroccan opening times. It is now, I think, 5.45. Nobody's gonna kick you out. It was the same thing yesterday at the Bahia Palace. It was like 4.45, I think, and they were just like, mad chill. <laughs> love it. In the Netherlands, they would already be giving warnings at like, five or something like we're going to cl close at 5 30 because god forbid you have to work one minute longer <laughs> i found the supermarket my happy place everywhere in the world and they have everything like dolls clothes there were washing machines behind me oh and they have the free stuff that's cool oh look this is quite useful that's awesome. I actually would have to make a um, Moroccan snacks tasting video. How about that? Cash me outside. How about that? No, no, cash me inside, man. Inside is where the food is. <laughs> OMG, OMG, OMG. This always gets me so excited. Let me know down in the comments below which snacks you would like me to try. One thing though, I'm not a fan of these kind of wafer cookies. I do not like this. Not even Yugoslavia, they're called Napolitanka there. I do not like them. But otherwise, let me know. Wow, this looks so good. Nut cream. Oh, that, <laughs> that sounds really wrong, by the way. Sorry. Wow, look at all of the spices. Seriously, this is cinnamon. Cinnamon bark, I guess. Not the gold. Wow. Mind is blown. This looks so cool. Oh, roasted chickpeas, I want that. That's good. Oh no, they're not roasted, damn it. Ooh, and there's literally a whole olive plateau. Morocco knows it's olives, man. Ooh, I read online about this, ripe. I need to try that, but without sugar or flavors. I want to try the original one. Just this packaging is too big. I cannot handle. Leben. Somebody recommended me to try Leben too. I asked you guys if that was zucchini in my couscous. Yes, it is. But it's like a mini zucchini. I like that. More mini zucchinis. They're so cute. Look at this. This is my hand. They're like little balls. Yeah. They even have plates. Look at these gorgeous plates. Oh. I wish I could take some of them back with me, but I just can't. It's too big. Well so pretty, I love the blue ones. I got some groceries, some face cream, and I got some oatmeal because I honestly cannot handle the baguette breakfast anymore. My stomach is getting so upset. And I got some bananas. If you're wondering, Ivana, why are you not buying them in the streets? It's cheaper. Well, I'm totally getting ripped off. My haggling skills are not that good. And eh, when it's like a matter of cents and euros, I'm like, meh. I don't know. I just like to support local economy. So <laughs> to be a little bit friendlier to my wallet, I just bought them at the supermarket. And it's probably a little bit more expensive than on the streets, but probably cheaper for me than not haggling in the streets. I also got some corn. Yay. <laughs> Back at the big square. Let's see if we can find something to eat. Seriously, this looks like a food festival or something. <laughs> Love it. I just saw an actual snake charmer. Snakes are seriously one of my biggest fears I can't handle next to the fear of being raped. Like snakes, like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near that man. Everybody wants you to sit at their table, but I have never seen anything like that. So it was a little bit too intense for me, and I looked for a place where I saw a bunch of and um, they don't, you know, they don't care here. 
<laughs> so I have a vegetarian sushi. I think this is potato. Good. Also, I got a full platter. Minus the fries, extra vegetables. Yes. Nom 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 nom. It's delicious. Oh. Oh, really good falafel. That was a nice dinner. I'm off to the Riyadh again. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get ready because I think we're going to Eshaura tomorrow. I'm still not sure, but I think so. Pretty mosque. <laughs> I didn't fully realize my first night here that that was the mosque. I found out later. And people are just chilling in the streets. It's still, I think, 25 degrees or something. Ah, oh, Marrakesh. It's wonderful. I actually also really, really, really wanted to go to the Sahara Desert. From here, you can book like a three-day tour or two-day tour. The thing is, I am I'm quite tired. I have been in the desert in, um, in Rajasthan, in India, and it's just too tiring to do it right now. Also, <laughs> also Moroccan music, love it. Also, I am seriously 95% sure I will be back in Morocco, and, and then I would rather save that for next time when I can truly enjoy it, because when I'm tired, I don't enjoy things to the fullest, so I would rather save that for next time and fully enjoy a Saura and like now I stayed one more night extra in Marrakesh and I, I have the feeling that I fully enjoyed Marrakesh so if we go into the Sahara now I don't think I, I will enjoy it to the fullest so that's why we're not doing that. I just checked how to get from Marrakesh to Esaura. Seriously guys, the internet is your friend. Some people ask me questions, I'm like, I think it's faster to Google it than to ask me. But still, I love answering all of your questions whenever I can. Anyways, I'm, uh, I'm rambling. Well, regarding to how to get from Marrakesh to Esaura, the internet told me that you need to buy a bus ticket one day ahead. And of course I did not do that. What do you expect of me? Do you expect me to plan or something? I don't do planning, my friend. So <laughs> um, I'm just going to check tomorrow if there is a bus ticket. I will stop this accent right now. I will check tomorrow if there is a bus ticket from Marrakesh to Esaura and otherwise we have to stay another day. I'm not mad at that. I like Marrakesh. I really wouldn't mind spending another day in Marrakesh. So we'll see tomorrow where we're gonna end up. This restaurant owner is the cutest ever with his wife Hamid and Rashida. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this vlog put a thumbs up and if you would like to travel along to Esara click that subscribe button because then I will see you next time. Bye!